this is our community and we're excited to present something that we know will be transformative and iconic for this community of ours. New developments tonight at a late night special Tempe Council meeting about the proposal to build a new massive sports complex. It could be the future home of the Arizona Coyotes, but several groups are fighting this plan big time. Elliot Polikoff was at the three hour long meeting tonight with more on how people are responding to this. Elliot. Yeah, Yetta and Jared, this was the first in a series of back to back city council meetings, a chance for the Arizona Coyotes, the city of Tempe, and the general public to share their thoughts and research surrounding the proposed entertainment district here in Tempe. Last week, the Development Review Commission, they sh voted unanimously seven to nothing to shift the district from commercial to mixed use zoning. Tonight, the Coyotes adding additional information about how hotels, office spaces, and businesses could impact those in the city. Coyotes president and CEO Javier Gutierrez saying this entertainment district would create about 7,000 jobs where the median salary would be $50,000. But groups do oppose this district saying it will create even bigger parking and traffic issues. They also have concerns about it impacting affordable housing in Tempe. The city of Phoenix also continues to say that this district violates a nearly 30 year intergovernmental agreement between the two cities and the flight patterns for Sky Harbor Airport. After listening to input from all sides and asking several questions himself, Tempe Mayor Corey Woods not tipping his hand. Well, I mean, you're talking about the first, you know, proposed privately financed arena, frankly, in the history of this entire state, uh, which is a big deal. Uh, as they talked about, every other development that's happened that involves a sports team or an arena, basically the people in the county or the state, regardless of whether or not you actually go see the team play a game or you buy a hat or a jersey or something of that nature, somehow your tax dollars are going to that entity. Uh, the benefit of what we're talking about right here and what they are proposing. I did ask Mayor Woods, try to find out if he was voting for or against this next Tuesday. That is when the big meeting has happened, when the city council does vote on whether or not the public can vote on this proposed entertainment district this upcoming May. But for now, still a lot to be settled. Again, that meeting next Tuesday, that'll be a big one with a vote that takes place for now live in Tempe. Elliot Polikoff, guys, back to you.